So I'm coming to you from in my laundry room. I'm going to commit to my YouTube channel that I'm going to start video, uploading videos once a week, every Friday. So I was hoping for a great series of videos to kick on and kick off my channel because I've had some older ones I've put up for answering questions. But I think you're going to get a lot of just down and dirty videos on how we do life with six kids, living in a small house, homeschooling all the time, and staying on a budget. So the first thing I'm bringing to you is just laundry detergent. So we make our own laundry detergent. We've been making our own laundry detergent for the last few, probably four years, five years. The only time in the last four years that I've bought laundry detergent was when the coupons gave it to me for free. Other than that, we make it. I started off with a liquid, and now I use a dry, and I will never go back. I used to have an HE washing machine. I washed diapers in it with my homemade laundry detergent. It worked out great. So let me walk you through what I use. So here are my ingredients that I, need, that I get. This is Zotes. This is actually the laundry soap. You can use Phelps Napa. You can use... Um, Ivory, I prefer Zotes. I'm pretty much to the point of being brand loyal. And they flake it for you, and you can buy this. Everything I got here, I got at Walmart. And you can buy this. So I use two boxes. But the thing to note, if you think you want to be cheap and grate your own soap, Zotes comes in two bars. This is the regular white. And this is the pink bar. For some reason, Zotes does not make the flakes in pink. Oh my goodness, if they did, I'd be thrilled. I love the pink the best, but I don't feel like grading it. Each one of these boxes is equivalent to two bars, it says, right here. Can you see that? Oh, focus. Anyways, it says Two bars equals one zotes. That's not true. As nice as they try to make it up, that's 500 grams in this box. That's 400 grams. Two of those would mean that's an 800 gram box. That's not happening. It's short. So I use two. Um, the ingredients that it calls for is your laundry detergent, a container of OxyClean, washing soda, if you've been making laundry detergent for a while, take note the box cover has changed. Um, baking, wait, this is washing soda and this is baking soda. Two different things. And Borax. Now, I will tell you, you can use the Purex crystals, but we don't do smells very well. It gets us very congested, so we don't use it. So when you go to Walmart, and not all Walmarts carry it, I can get these for the Oxy, the Laundry Booster, the Arm & Hammer, the Meal, the Borax at almost any Walmart. I can get them at Publix. Getting Zouts is a whole nother story. And then getting it graded it is even another story. So if you can get your Walmart to carry this, you can get everything at Walmart. Um, I will tell you, each box of this is $2.64. Um, you're getting the four pound box of baking soda, which is $2.24 at my Walmart, but see that's four pounds. Your washing soda is, <coughs> sorry, this stuff kind of makes me cough when I mix it, is $3.97, and that is a 55 ounce box. And the borax typically comes in one size at 4 pounds, 12 ounces, and that's $3.97. And the OxyClean, I'm only getting the 1.3 pound box or container, and that's $3.86. So I did calculate, because I have to know my numbers, because that's what makes me happy. Um, so as you can see, Here's all my cost. It comes to $19.32. And I throw this all into like a big shoebox tub. So I didn't, I'm not going to measure it by volume. <coughs> but 
um, I did measure it by ounces by what it weighed. And it comes to 251 ounces for a 19 pound. I went ahead earlier and I had my little handy dandy scale out. And I weighed some mix. And it's one ounce per load. Which makes us 250 loads for $20. I'm sorry, there's nothing on sale that beats it. And my clothes come out clean. <coughs> so I'm going to get this mixed and walk you through mixing it. You do want to have a good mixing spoon. I use a 20 quart container. I'd like to tell you that I happily put the lid. I never put the lid on it. I dish it out. This is the laundry spoon that we've been using for years. I dish it out. Um, this is an eighth of a cup. One eighth of a cup is one ounce. Like I said earlier, I used to use liquid, <coughs> but when I went and found out about the detergent and I could use dry, I started dry, and I still had a gallon of liquid, and guess what? I won't use it, and you can kind of see I've got this much gone. This is how many loads I've done before it's because I procrastinated. I should have got this done earlier, and I didn't, so this is how many loads. So this is my backup detergent, but what my kids do not know, my messy laundry room, these little tubs right here, hide, hold on, that little tub of OxyClean right there, I actually put the scoop, because the scoop is one eighth. This is a better one, and I hide laundry detergent. So I scoop out every time I, I fill up the bucket I scoop into my container. <coughs> Alright, when it comes down to mixing it, I do it kind of in a little trick. It's going to get dusty so it may bother your allergens. I open my boxes so I can be a one handed magic. So I kind of lasagna it. I put my one box my first box is out I put half, see the dust, it's kind of smoky, I put half my box of baking soda, and I just kind of put half of everything to help mix it up, see this dust, woo, woo, trying not to cough in here, my arm and hammer, this is a trick one handed now, let me tell you, oh, oh, Get half my, I can dump the whole thing of OxyClean in there. Get my cup. So kind of what I, this, I'm thankful to have it in a really big box. I got a strong metal spoon. I have to have a metal spoon. I've broken wooden spoons on here. And break up my borax. Break up my borax. Okay, so I mix it, and I just do this to get a better mix. So here again, my second box. And listen, do it any way you feel fit. This is just how I do it. Oh, I open my mouth, I can taste the soap in the air. Ugh! My, this is one part I hate about it. It's not even a big gripe, but still, I don't like it. The rest of my arm and hammer. Oh! I'll pick that all up later. A washing soda. <coughs> Did I tell you that stinks in here? Woo! Alright. Oh. Uh. There, I think I got it. Alright. Again, sometimes it hardens up. Make sure I'm getting you good. I just kind of break it up. I'm trying to stay far. Uh oh, they're looking for me. Yes? Why are you doing a video? I'm doing a video, yes. Okay, hold on. Let's just wait a little bit, alright? Tell me how hungry he is. 
Alright, so I just mix this up, and I just kind of break up any of the the holes, and you can kind of see it's, it's like you got the flakes from the soap, and then it's just dusty. Oh, and it is dusty in here. I would do this outside, but I'm too lazy to drag everything outside to do what I need to get done. I'm just going to get it done. You hear me say that all the time, I'll say, I'm just lazy. I'm just doing it this way because I'm lazy. I'm not lazy. I just got too much to do. Ain't nobody got time for that. Just take care of it in here. Alright, I mean, that is it. Now, back to my secret stash. There's my OxyClean. This right here, if we leave the house, we go out of town. I just grab one of these. So I kind of start piling them up there. So in the last year I've made, I can tell you how many I've made. In the last year, <laughs> I made two. We've been here two, one year. There's number third round, right there. And, I mean, that's not bad. I've spent $40 in one year washing clothes for seven, now eight people. And then we go through some laundry. I mean, we do tablecloths every day, sometimes two or three of them a day, but nothing fancy here. I wish I could say, look at my really cool redone laundry room, but no, it's not. I have this, like, drawer that hides everything, and I just throw my soaps in there. So, I hope that helps. I do get really clean laundry, I'll show you. Oh, I'll do a little, I wanted to tell you this. Alright, the deal with laundry and me having six kids, I'm going to tell you a secret. I don't do a lot of laundry. Very rarely do I do laundry. And the only time I do laundry is when the dials need to be different. See that? How I give my children the resources to be independent is I take a Sharpie and I tell them where the dial should be. So I'll reset everything for them. The, and then, they didn't understand this, because we used to have a front loader, and you can use this detergent in a front loader. You just have to put it in with your clothes. You don't put it in the little drawer in front. And then, we were never going to have another one of those again. We blew out the pump three or four times because of toys and everything else. So, we got a washer, and then I just killed it finally about a month ago. So, I had it for, I ran it for a year and killed it. It was a free washer, so I totally got my money's worth. This is a $200 washer. I'll sh I might decorate it. I don't really care. So, the, in order for me to get laundry done, my children know how to operate the washer and dryer, and they flip laundry. They don't even think they're doing laundry. They just flip laundry. They start a load. They, f you know, they flip it to the dryer. They bring it out to a basket. My job is to make laundry detergent, to sort clothes, and fold them. They put them away. Does it work like a champ? No, I have a pile of laundry sticking up there. It's not perfect. But we're dressed for the most part. And I'll tell you what made me realize I had to make detergent was there's my whites. Because we have 4-H public speaking tomorrow, so I had to make sure our whites were white. So it does a great job getting stains out. It's 20 bucks. I hope it helps you. Have fun. Good luck. I know that you can make it a liquid, you can leave it as a powder, I've even seen it done as a kind of a cream, like a lotion that they dump in there. I mean, it's the same stuff, it's going to work. Have fun, if this makes you want to try it, great job, if this is what you love, give me a thumbs up, and I'll get with you again.